life with Linda Muri and on this channel we do everything home. In case this is your first time here, hi, my name is Linda and on this channel we do everything home. So if that's your area of interest, feel free to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support my channel guys, you know what to do. There's a blue button down under my name. There's a blue button there written join. You can use that button to join or alternatively you can like the video share me out leave me a comment and i would really appreciate it. also that's one way of supporting this channel just like the video subscribe share me out it's that simple guys so as you can see from the background i'm in the kitchen and yes guys today i'm going to organize this fridge because it's like hell in there like guys i feel even ashamed to show you the inside but on this channel, we are real. I'm going to show you guys the inside of this fridge because things are everywhere and I've been doing this, I don't know, I started doing this maybe two or three days ago, but today I'm determined to finish it. So let me just show you the inside. But before that, like the video guys, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel, share me out, you know, share me with your friends, with your husbands, with your wives, you know, with your grandmothers, with your mothers, with your sisters everybody even with your neighbors 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 you know all those neighbors that you live with share me out with them and i would really appreciate it. so without wasting much time let's just get straight into the video guys that's how my fridge is looking like it's not very dirty but it's very disorganized so we are going to fix some things in here you know remove everything that is not supposed to be in there you know and just arrange it nicely so that's how it's looking and on this side that's how it's looking so we are going to fix that and my freezer it's empty I need to boil some cereals it's empty but you know don't mind let's just get into organizing and clean it and then organize so let's do this guys Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go vinegar mix to clean the inside part of the fridge and even the outside part of the fridge so let's do this
bruises sets me apart All I feel was bliss But you were never there, you were never I want us to be what we used to be this night Baby, just another fight But you don't wanna see me cry There is no way that it's never going there I think it better and I swear I'll follow you no matter where This is the previous day guys, I had ordered some groceries and they did deliver so I'm quickly going to wash them and then you know let them air dry because I'm also going to use these in my fridge organization and usually guys for my veggies and my vegetables I normally rinse them with vinegar basically after I'm done like cleaning them I will soak them into vinegar water for like 5 to 10 minutes you know to just kill the germs if there are something that may be old insects that are on those fruits or veggies the vinegar will kill them so that's why i normally soak my veggies and my fruits in vinegar water cuz i don't want to be i don't want to be hate like the one to flee like the one to leave and never surrender but ever remember my lover did you give up on me have you never learned the lesson think it better go someplace i don't know cuz i got your picture on my to be what we used to be this night Maybe just another fight But you don't wanna see me cry There is no way that it's never going there I think it better and I swear I'll follow you no matter where guys these are my spring onions what i normally do is i make sure that i remove all the rotten leaves wash them remove all the sand and then just let them air dry and then sometimes i'll chop them up and keep them in the fridge sometimes i just keep them in the fridge the way they are same with my coriander for these ones i'm going to chop them up you know i'm going to let them air dry and then chop them up and then i'll put them in the freezer in them i mean in the fridge not in the freezer, in the fridge. Same with my spring onion. And for my ginger, I have washed them. What I'm going to do is I will peel this and then blend them into a paste and store them in an airtight container in the fridge as well. Uh, for the, my tomatoes, I'm also going to let them air dry and then I'll keep them in the fridge. For these two, they are not like very ripe yet. So I'll just leave them out to ripe and then we'll chop them up, store them in the fridge as well or eat them or make some juice. Yeah, and then this is um, oranges, apples, these are just fruits guys and this water is, I have some vinegar, I normally rinse them with some water mixed with vinegar, same with everything here guys, I normally rinse my veggies, uh, my fruits, you know with uh, some vinegar this this is the vinegar yeah i normally do that guys so i'm going to let them air dry and then we'll do a little bit of a fridge organization i will do that with you that's what we'll be doing later when these things are dry we will do a fridge organization so let's wait for them to air dry guys i'm done cleaning everything this is how the fridge looks like it's now it's very clean i have already returned 
are all the compartments that I had taken out to wash and that's how it looks like it's all clean so what's remaining is for me now to rearrange or just rather put everything back in its original place so let's do that but that's how the fridge looks like So guys, I'm going to make some ginger and uh, garlic paste and for this guys, you just blend, add a little bit of water in your ginger or in your garlic and blend. So for mine, I'm going to like blend them separately or make the paste separately because I don't want them mixed up. Because sometimes, you know, you'll just want like to take some ginger water and then it's mixed with garlic and that's not a good taste. So normally, I'll just blend them separately and blend them and store them in the fridge separately. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, Jared, I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks for all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh
focused on me You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E But see, I ain't even tripping cause I just chose to believe So guys, I'm done, let me show you how it looks like now My freezer Let's not even talk about it because it's empty, 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 empty as you can see So, um, what you have here is some meat This is Nduma, what do we call arrow roots? Yeah these are the only cereals I have. Here are some beans. These are the only cereals in here, guys. Like, I need to go and do uh, some shopping for cereals and then boil them and then store them here because right now with this economy, cereals are coming in handy. So, for my freezer, I don't have much going on. Apart from I have some smokies here, some um, beef sausages there, and then this is uh, cheese. What is this called? Yeah, these are cheese slices for burgers. So, yeah, as you can see, it's empty. It's nothing much going on there. So, let's go to this lower compartment. So, um, hmm. this is how it looks like. This. Yeah, that's how everything looks like. I must admit it looks much better than it did it's clean and everything is well arranged so in here I have um, oopsie uh, here I just have milk These are the packed milk in there and then this is homemade um, plum what is it called plum jam yeah homemade plum jam it's still there and then on this section is where I have placed um, these ones are just uh, some tomato paste. You know, guys, tomatoes are so expensive right now. So I buy some tomato paste and mix with uh, just the original tomatoes, you know, sometimes. So I have tomato paste here and then I have some juice here for Zen. So I have placed them here. And then I have some soda going on there. That's the only soda in this fridge because I don't want to buy a lot of soda because it's Zen. Zen is someone who will see soda and then he will prefer taking soda for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I just bought a small one for the purposes of, you know, you have to have some drinks in your house. But for him, he usually takes these juices most of the time so most of the time i buy the go fruit and this is uh the quencher ones and then in here i have yogurts so guys as i was saying in here i have um, yogurts and i normally buy yogurts uh, in this small size because of parking for them when he's going to school they carry yogurt and for him he prefers yogurt over milk so he he usually we usually like pack for him yogurt on a daily basis so these packed ones are really easy for us because we just take one and pack it for him so that's why i normally buy them in these small packs so that's that and then in here is where now i have uh, I did show you guys this is a uh, should I open it this is coriander the ones that uh, I was chopping earlier and this is the spring onion yeah and that's the spring onion so I have stored them like these and in the fridge because one this one I know they are going to last us for only a week yeah they are only going to last for a week if it goes a long way it will just be a week mostly it will take us three yeah three to five days and then we'll be done with this and then we buy fresh ones and in here again i have uh, these two what's this called now this is ginger and this is garlic this is how i normally store my ginger and garlic in the fridge that's how i normally like i just blend if i wanted this like to stay for a longer period of time like maybe let's say from two weeks onwards i would have like added a layer of oil on top here to protect these um 
uh, what is this called to protect it or to make it stay a little bit longer like to preserve it i would have added a little bit of oil on top of this and also on top of this but because as you can see they are not in large quantities and more or less we use garlic and ginger like on a daily basis in this household so this one will mo most likely take us for a week and we will be done with that so no need of like preserving it and then down here is where i have our leftover foods like just leftover food from you know when we eat and something remains that's the compartment that i have stored them there and then there i just have some tomatoes and i know guys this is not the best way to store your tomatoes you can store them like on your countertop in a storage container in, on your countertop but because my tomatoes as you can see they are really ripe so if i place them on the countertop they will invite fruit flies and i don't want fruit flies in my house so it's better they stay here because one they will stay like fresh for longer than when i place them on my countertop because they are really ripe guys and then this is where i also place my fruits those are the watermelons uh, for things like oranges, pineapples, not pineapple, oranges and uh, apples, I don't put them in the fridge anymore. I, I prefer putting them on the countertop because those ones don't invite fruit flies. But for tomatoes and melon, mm -mm, I store them here in the fridge. So that's what is in that compartment. And then over here... Oh, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> yeah, over here, guys, I have milk. And as someone might might ask me why I have this type of milk, and also have this type of milk, this one is what Zen drinks. This is what we give him after dinner. He usually like takes milk before he goes to bed. So this is what he usually takes. And for this type of milk, we use to make tea and baking. That's why I buy this. Like earlier, like um, let's say before the this harsh economy, I would only use this type of milk to bake. But now we use it for tea, and it's not that badly off. So for those three storage containers, I normally use them for milk, and then these two have juice. Just mixed uh, the juice and then placed it here. Most of the times I place here my homemade juices, but today I have not prepared any. So this is just the bought juice that. You normally will dilute with water before you take it so this is it yeah because when you come home and you know you want something real quick like to quench your uh, thirst and you don't want water just like take some of that and here it's where we have eggs and as you can see they are not even full and guys right now we are buying eggs at 13 kenyan shillings it used to be like 12 or 10 kenyan shillings right now it's 13 and then down here is where I have just placed random stuff <laughs> like we have some vodka going on here this vodka we have some soy sauce you know tomato paste hot and sweet and what this called lala mazua lala yeah fermented milk if you're not from Kenya this is fermented milk and guys I think that's it for the fridge I think else that's it for the fridge guys right now at least it's well organized well arranged and I'm happy that I've been able to do this because I've been putting it off and the fridge was quite dirty as you saw earlier. So that's how it looks like and I'm happy everything is in its place. you did enjoy this video if you did kindly give it a thumbs up share me out if you can and if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for guys subscribe to this channel for all content about 
home making home organization home makeovers like guys everything home we do it on this channel i hope that you did learn maybe one or two things from this video i'll be seeing you guys in my next video love and light bye bye and now you're coming up to me firelighting up the sky feel the ground shaking running